Hi, I'm meteorologist Ashley Brawweiler, and on this episode of Homeschool, we're going to talk about hurricanes. Hurricanes are large storms that are fueled by the tropical waters in the Atlantic Ocean and are the strongest storms on Earth. These tropical cyclones happen in other parts of the world too, but have different names. They're known as cyclones in the Indian Ocean and typhoons in Southeast Asia. Hurricanes that affect us begin in unstable air near Africa. The warm, moist air from the ocean rises, cools and condenses and forms areas of clouds and thunderstorms. In order for thunderstorms to grow and intensify, the ocean water must be at least 26.5 degrees Celsius. Once we get a rotating, organized system of thunderstorms and clouds, it then becomes a tropical depression with winds less than 62 kilometers per hour. As the depression continues its journey being fueled by the very warm ocean, it continues to grow, next becoming a tropical storm. This means winds are now between 63 and 117 kilometers per hour. Once we start to see strong circulation and the winds reach 119 kilometers per hour, this is when our storm becomes a hurricane. The ocean continues to fuel the storm, pumping warm air around the eye of the hurricane. It gets its name because when looked at from space, it looks just like a human eye. The eye of the hurricane is calm, but just outside of that, known as the eye wall, is where the harshest weather and strongest winds are. In order to know what is happening inside the hurricane, an aircraft known as the Hurricane Hunter flies through the storms and releases a device called a drop zone. These are instruments that measure the temperature, winds and pressure of the storm that help meteorologists predict not only where the hurricane is headed, but also help forecast the strength. Hurricanes are rated using the Saffir Simpson wind scale. It categorizes the storm's winds and the potential for significant damage. It ranges from category one with winds starting at 119 kilometers per hour to a category five, which has winds upwards of 251 kilometers per hour. Meteorologists name hurricanes to be able to keep track of them because there can be more than one hurricane at a time. There are six lists of 21 names that follow the alphabet, but they don't use the letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z. These lists are reused every six years, but if a hurricane is particularly strong and damaging, they'll retire the name and replace it with a new one. This year, you'll be hearing names like Kyle, Laura, and Nana. Sometimes these storms head our way, but once they leave the warm waters of the tropics and reach our cool waters, they lose steam and often reach us as a tropical storm, even post-tropical, which just means the storm is no longer being fueled by the ocean. But there have been Category 1, even Category 2 hurricanes that reach Newfoundland and Labrador. Since record keeping began, 13 official hurricanes have made landfall in Newfoundland. The most destructive was Hurricane Igor in 2010. It passed just south of Newfoundland as a very powerful storm with winds near 172 kilometers per hour, pounding storm surge, extensive flooding, power outages, and millions of dollars worth of damage. The Atlantic hurricane season kicked off on June 1st and runs until November 30th, but we typically see the most action in August and September once our ocean waters start to warm up. But that doesn't mean we'll be in the clear until then, so I'll certainly be watching closely. In the last episode of Homeschool, I'm going to be answering some of your weather questions, so make sure you send them in. I'll see you next week.